All right, so welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the hardest career series. Today's episode, we're going to attempt the first rendezvous between two vessels in orbit around Kerbin. This is Mercury 4. Mercury 4 and Mercury 5, flown by Jeb and Rayson, will attempt the first rendezvous. Now, because of the extra weight, this is the Bedstone 2 standard launch vehicle. We've got some SRBs, not attached yet, but... There will be. Cut with the extra weight to SRBs. And I'm modifying the second stage to run on liquid hydrogen for the first time. We've not used liquid hydrogen LH2 powered engines before. See, plenty of del del uh, plenty of delta V. 1874. And 1.13 TWR. I'm also going to modify the spacecraft itself with a linear thrust on the underside. So once I've finished doing that, so I'll take a look at the engine first. So it's the OR-06 Strombel cryogenic rocket engine. And of course, we will ha actually experience boil-off if we don't cool the tank. Not too bad. You can see how much extra LH2 compared to the oxygen. It's a lot more. Okay, so as soon as they're finished, I shall put four and five on to build. We shall then roll them out to pads A and B. And we shall begin today's mission. Okay, about to uh, circularize. Got plenty of TWR on this. One point two, almost one point three. Okay, so once we've been circularized, we'll separate the sta final stage, and then we'll switch to the onboard thrusters to finish off the orbit. And about hundred kilometers or so circularized. That way, racing has a better chance of uh, making up quite a quick rendezvous. Okay, so that's Jeb in Mercury 4. Circularized about 100 by 100 kilometers or thereabouts. Got 189.6 monoprop. So the monoprop, I've already explained in the previous Mercury flights, 
It's not used for RCS and also the main RCS thruster we've got underneath the spacecraft. It's also used to power the monoprop fuel cell. So it's a hypergolic field fuel cell. And can switch it on by doing that. So you see electric charge. That's fine. Okay. We'll leave the main lights off. We'll leave the uh, instrument lights on, but the cabin lights off. Just in case we get a leak or something like a monoprop, we need to where uh, it came down quickly. We have 10 litres of monoprop in the uh, command module, as always, locked away for contingency situations. Okay, so that is a forward view. The two cameras on the first stage, on the second stage, are now gone, obviously. Okay, so 100 by 100 kilometers, we should be okay with that. Okay, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait about 24, well, not 24, six hours till the next day, and then we're going to launch Rayson in Mercury 5 and try and get him to rendezvous with Jeb in Mercury 4. Okay, so beginning circularization with Rayson on Mercury 5. So a slight problem with this hydrogen fuel cell, uh, it's hydrogen fuel cell, the hydrogen fuel stage. Seems to have a slight problem with the uh, tank size. It seems to be misreporting the mass. We also had a uh, first stage leak of oxidizer on uh, Mercury 4 which was Jeb's flight just prior to this one. So it's now a full day later. Just to make sure the uh, orbits are as lined as possible. Okay, but despite the uh, particular problems with the hydrogen fuel stage, that second stage, we've got to orbit. Only just though. So we certainly don't have as much Delta V as it uh, makes out we're supposed to have. Okay, so where are we? Take a look at the map and see exactly where. Should be targeted. Okay, so I've just burned radial in. To try and bring Rayson's apoapsis. Roughly about where Jeb's apoapsis is. And obviously, consequently, periapsis and our periapsis will match with Jeb's as well. It's brought the periapsis down to 87.605, so it's well under 99.959 kilometers of Jeb. Okay. 
got 99.985 we've got 104.9 unfortunately our perhaps is drifted slightly over where i wanted it as it should be but it can't be helped okay so it's 35 minutes in i was going to try and do this in a single orbit but unfortunately jeb overflew us before i could actually get racing off the pad so that's not a very good thing to do because I've got to go underneath to try and catch him up when he's quite shallow 100 kilometers it doesn't give us a lot to go under but like I said we're not in a rush so we can take our time we're not going to go too fast on the approach speed I think over 10 kilometers over, well, it's, it's over 10 kilometers under at the periapsis now perhaps this needs to be brought back down again so it matches but that's easily done once we reach a periapsis just don't want to go over shooting Jeb okay so I've performed another adjustment with Rayson in Mercury 5 right now Jeb is just over 216 kilometers well, the next intersect next orbit 119.3 kilometers so it's coming down quite nicely so no need to rush so we'll wait to go around again see exactly what the intercept figure is for the next orbit okay about to find out our next closure is on 25.8 kilometers relative speed is 96.2 meters per second So I've got to get within visual range. That won't quite do it. But we can correct once we actually get around to the apoapsis. I'm going to bring the payapsis up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll bring up a little bit by about five, maybe ten, about ten kilometers, up to about ninety kilometers. So we're nice and easy. So it'll take another orbit at least after this one. Okay, so how close we're going to be after this one? I didn't bring the periapsis down up or down. Left it where it was. 25.8 kilometers. Three seconds, two seconds. Okay, separation is six to eight kilometers, which means we've gone past. So we're going to at the apoapsis, we shall not at the target we shall push the periapsis up at the apoapsis okay go to progrid we use the RCS in reverse no it won't use it fold your pillock 26, 26 kilometers, 24. Of course, you don't want to hit him. And that is a collision. Yeah, it does enjoy wiping your uh, information off. 26.7 kilometers relative speed 80 separation is 24 Where is his periapsis? Okay, let's push it. If it lets me. Okay, that should be just about matched. 18.7 kilometers. Relative speed 62.7 meters a second. Okay, so once we get close enough, we shall bring the relative speed down 
Although 18 kilometres should actually qualify for the contract anyway, but uh, we'll do that. We'll, we'll make sure we get into station keeping position with Jeb. Okay, so last we've got visual contact with Jeb. Gonna rotate. I think that's the correct way. Yeah. Yeah, brown's always down, blue's always up. Never mind. Do you remember that? Okay, I think that's about it. That's all I can really do. I don't do too much dancing around Jeb because uh, first he'll get dizzy. And we'll run out of monoprop as well. I've got 10 points locked in the command module like I always do. But, I don't want to take chances. Okay, let's read the contracts. Contract parameter. If you let me bring it up. Okay, it's block me beautiful. Synchronized at free falling isn't nearly as daunting as it sounds. I don't know. 19,200 cash, two sites and four reputation. Now for the overall contract completion. So I can see what it's ho it holds when we live on the planet, don't we? Completion reward, 12,480 cash, two sites and four reputation. Nice. And the world's first. We have performed a rendezvous. Maneuver around Kirby. That's the first rendezvous. 40,400 cash, one size, and three reputation. All right. Okay. I think we need to take race and back down because Jeb's done no maneuvering whatsoever, so he's got plenty of monoprop to keep his electric fuel cells going. We haven't. So I'm going to deorbit Ray, first of all. We'll see it's being recovered from the ocean, however he crash lands. We shall then recover Jeb and deorbit him. Okay, so that's Ray safely deorbited and splashed down. Nothing in the way of science. Two thousand two hundred eighty-two funds from the uh, recovered parts. And no experience gain. And no ribbons. Wow, that's surprising. That's very surprising. Okay.
Okay, so that's Jeb splashed down, fully recovered, nice and safe. No signs again, not surprising. Got 27 science. Let's this clear off. Ah, oh, thank you. 3,170 funds from recovered parts. Okay. No experience again, which is very strange. And no ribbons, just like recent. So obviously rendezvous isn't all that special. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, never mind. Okay. So that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click like. It's appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content. That is also very much appreciated. Also, if you wish to share, that does help the channel immensely. It's also very much appreciated. Okay, so don't forget we have Discord, Facebook and Twitter. So in most of our time on the Twitter feed, that's where you'll find me updating as to what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, Twitter is the basic place where I uh, spend most of my time. Okay, so obviously if you want to leave a comment or a question, as always, you're more than welcome to do so. Okay, so, once again, thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you in the next episode. In the meantime, as always, take care and bye-bye.